money. No, I want to play him. But, you know, I'll split if he beats me the first set. No, I ain't playing that game. Well, that's what I told the guy that I was. It's already took him 130. I gotta go play down south. He's gotta pack all his shit. We gotta meet fucking Brandon at 11 in the morning. Yeah, we got, I gotta pack all my shit up still. And, you know, I think we're gonna go to John's house tonight. Sleep a few hours. So, you know, I have a chair here available for you if you wanna jump in and commentate on the match with me. How did I know you were gonna say that? This is like watching Dean Drive. <laughs> Well, it's only a race to four. That was so. exciting, all that match. Huh? Oh man, that was a great match. All day, all day. The, uh, I could have sat here and watched that. Finished, finished the rolls all day. Oh yeah. And well, good against Larry. His, oh, against Larry. I didn't see that match very much, but I know the. Uh, he dogged him. Larry dogged him. But, uh, there was some breaks that uh, Ray had that he was not happy with at all. You know, he was dry breaking a, f a few times in that last match, and or uh, Junior. Junior was, and he was he was real disgusted with himself. You know, you could see it on his face every time he dry broke. Can't make a flipping ball, you know. And, but he he hung in there, and uh, good things come to those who wait. What was that you guys were talking about? What's that? Did he, in that match, did he, was there a close hit or what? Oh, no, I was talking about the, uh, he had these two balls over here, okay. one of his ball and, and the other guy's ball, and he tried to break them out earlier, and he ended up tying them up tougher. And then he got shape on another ball here, and it was, I mean, it was a shot that you could get a breakout on, but it's, obviously, it's still a tough shot to did get that right one breakout. Match one match, race to four. Oh, okay. He just, he wanted to play at JD, so that's how he come to a conclusion he was going to play him. One the hatch? I wanted him just to split it. It's only $80, so give him 40 and let's go. But they're saying they'll play one match with him for $80? Yeah. So he ain't got nothing to lose. Well, he ain't got nothing to lose. He just got to beat him once instead of twice. Right, exactly. It's, you got nothing to lose there. I got that, don't you? When my kid was, uh, my oldest kid was in wrestling, there used to be a Border Wars uh, national championships down in Sioux City. So now we're going to put together Border Wars, Minnesota versus South Dakota. Cool. Cool. I don't think you guys got a shot. Oh, I think we got all the shot in the world if you're playing for Minnesota. I don't think you got a shot, dude. Did you see this room full of people today? Well, well, you and I are but you're on that team. You might let We'll just let John play. We might as well. Then you don't have a shot. Because the cannon will get over before noon. If we start at 10. <laughs> yeah, great. Race to 25, it's done. Yep. All right, this is the finals on the B side. Uh, they are not going to do uh, a double dip. They're just going to go one race to four for the championship. They both agreed on it. What was the score in the Prestigard uh, Larson match? 4 2. So now you're not going to run out of here real fast like you did last weekend. You're oh, yeah. Gonna, you're going to give us a chance to pack up so we can follow you, right? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> I would expect nothing less.
if these benches were like twice this long, it'd be perfect. You sleep on them? Yeah. Curl up on top of the table right now. Oh, I, I could. I think I could probably go anywhere. So I could sleep in the bathroom on the floor. I think. I thought this, these days are all over for me, John. Sitting behind the desk watching the pool. Thanks, buddy. These days have just begun. No, I put my time in here. I like the way your kid shoots. He's got a good stroke. The pro side. The pro side, yep. Hand me that Red Bull as he yawns. What's that about? Um, that's when you were talking with Junior. Really? I don't know. I don't know either. Can't imagine that I'm supposed to interview the champion of the Double A and and give credit to other players. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what that means. We're in the Midwest. And Demi didn't play well today. I mean, he went out. He was out early. One and two, maybe, or something. Yeah. That just tells you, you know, the quality of players up here from one week to the next. It, it, you guys are so close, so close, you know. Yeah, it's all what's going on in their life, too, you know. Yeah, you got to have that 80, clean slate. Eighty percent of the field works. I've noticed that if you have chalk on that chalkboard, your game struggles. You got to get that eraser out and clean the chalkboard off for sure. Yep. I don't know why my, I don't know why I played so well today. I, I thought my chalkboard was just all all cluttered full of crap. But just like mine, right? Exactly. I don't know about yours, but mine has writing on the wall like you wouldn't believe. Perfect. And as you can see, JD wanted that cue ball to tap into the 11 ball. Man, they, they used to say up here in Minnesota, you know, if, if Tony Hill ever figures out the game, he'll be a champion. Now you see how he plays. Oh, my. I think the same about this kid. He yeah, J.D. Takes is... Takes care of the head game. He's got a great stroke on him. I was watching a little bit when he was playing uh, Larson over on table 59 when the championship, when Junior was playing here. and Man... He's a B player? Are you kidding me? He's tough. He's real tough. He, he, can he, he, how, how well can he keep up with you? Oh, he beats me. And you're an A player? Yep. Yeah? Has he it'll done a be, lot of work? I think, on... I think it'll be easier for him in A. There's less people. Right. And it's a longer race, too. So but I don't think that it, that bothers him because he doesn't make that many mistakes. Except for that one. <laughs> I didn't. I, I didn't. I didn't see that one. So it must have been a lot thinner cut than what we thought. But. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. It was thin. It was that Cubo was almost on the rail, wasn't it? Yeah. So here we got Chris Hammer up to bat, taking stripes. He's up one to nothing against JD. This is a race to four. Kids out here, two to nothing, breaking. Here, hold on to that
I was actually handing that to you to hold on to it because I figured you might say a word or two. No. I should, just, I should just be happy for getting the words that I'm getting out of you now. Yeah, this game ain't exciting. Well, these cool, guys aren't... Cool is not exciting. <laughs> I don't know what country you come from, Two but... round balls hitting each other. How hard is it? This game is easy. I hear you. When you have that chalkboard clean. Yep. Alright, that's uh, game number two, two zero. Hammer time. Well, at least this one will go by fast. This is the last match of the night, right? Yep. So, we're going to be with you here for about another 15 to 25 minutes, I would think. And uh, then we're going to start tearing down. I'll leave the stream on for you guys as long as we can. Maybe we can uh, find some action. Are you guys out of here as soon as it's done? Yeah, we gotta meet them guys in the morning. How long of a drive is it to Montgomery? Depends on how traffic is or which way you go. An hour. 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 But he's got a back close for three weeks. He's going to Chicago and Clinton. Chicago, they're just setting up and then going on to Clinton. And then uh, after Clinton, they'll go home with Keith and go to Deadwood the next weekend. Oh, he's got a he's got a long three weeks ahead of him then, huh? Mm -hmm. So is he uh, staying with Keith then? Yeah, he'll be out there for the week. Awesome, awesome. I guess. Uh, I might have to come out there and visit him. I live on that side of town too, so. Yeah, I was gonna get a hold of Keith, one of my chances is screwed up, but if you can drop it off there. Look at all those Keith cues. Ooh, wow, look at that. That's breaking too hard. Now is that, uh, is that? The tip went down in, the ferro. It smashed the ferro. What kind of feral is that? Elkhorn. I was gonna say it looks like it looks like bone of some sort. Well, I think I'll have Keith either if he can just shave this off right here, and then put you know whatever super hard tip on her, and just my feral will be shorter for now. Wow. Power break. Yeah. Let's see what else you got in here. This ain't the one you shoot with, is it? Mm -hmm. Oh, that is beautiful. How many points is on this one? Uh, 170 something. 177? Wow, and look how look how tight those things are. They're just fingers. They're hair thin. That is a thing of beauty. That is beautiful. Someday. I gotta get him to quit making them in December and then I'll go up in price. <laughs> This uh, brake stick? Yep. Now, do you like the uh, composite? Does it, can you tell the difference in hit? No. No. It feels like one, uh, you know, one piece. Feels like bark you. Can't you. I mean, when you think it's tight, you grab it and give it another notch. I think I don't know. He doesn't answer the phone. I think I'm just going to send it home with you. Yeah, you can do that. I mean, if you'll get there tomorrow or Monday, then tell him to bring it back down to Yeah. No problem. I can do that for you if you'd like. 
and then just then give him those ideas. I think if he just shaves it down smaller and then you know puts one of those whatever the hell tips. You, you're he talking about with. cutting the ferrule down. Yeah, just cut her down to there. And three sixteenths or something. Yeah. But it's up to him whatever he wants to do. Right. No, I fucking broke the curl. Elkhorn curl. So, now the Elkhorn, is that uh, better than Ivory? It's, it's not worth it. It's just different. It's not uh, worth more or anything. It's just as strong, lot, Yeah, a lot of people look at it and go, oh, your ferrule's all dirty. <laughs> if they've seen my other cues, they know that it's not dirty. I love how your uh, boys, when he shoots that tip, it's got that little glimmer on it, yeah. that Kamui clear. Yeah, that's what we all shoot. Huh? Oh, oh, yeah. I've got a voucher for a Kamui clear, but i got to find a an authorized retailer to turn it into and there's only one in Minnesota and none in South Dakota can't remember the guy in Minnesota it's up in Bloomington I think you go on the Kamui website and there's only one up, mm. up here I can't believe they won't just send it to you Yeah, you I gotta get a hold of there. You got that out there or something, don't you? That's beautiful. I got my voucher from uh, the POV uh, pay per view, Shane and Earl Strickland. Oh. Paid 35 bucks to have it out at JJ's. We put it on the TV out at JJ's for the weekend and got me a $30, you know, Kamui voucher, you know. And then I got a Cuba Kamui chalk voucher from John Bertone. Oh, that's what we were talking about last time with Chalk, too. I gotta get a hold of him here in the next uh, couple of days, Hans too. Hanson had a piece of Kamui Chalk, too. Until he walked in the door. <laughs> you take it? Oh, yeah. that one's gonna hurt, yeah, isn't can, it? You can have it, he says. Keith didn't like it, huh? Oh, it's not that he didn't like it, he just knew that he wanted it. So. I don't know. I don't know what it is with him and Keith, but... What do you use? Uh, you just use regular Master Chalk then, or...? Yeah. What's the... the Kamui Chalk is, uh, what is it, more dense? I don't know, it's like... Uh, it's like glue. Yeah, it's supposed to stay on there a lot longer, like ten you're times. Only, you're only supposed to use... Or they say you can use it once per game. Depending on how many innings you're going, right? No, just once per game. Two to oh. one. Two to one. Uh, we have a match again. But there's uh, one of those remote control cars riding around here, driving around. But at least they're not uh, turning on those vacuums like they did last week at CNRs. You could definitely tell after they were on for about five minutes, you could, that smell started filtering through the pool room. It does smell. Yeah. I'll just say, I'll just say, you know, they came with us out there. Scaring. Secret. You came with us the first time. When we played at the benefit deal. Down at uh, Biggs. Yeah, he played in the final with uh, with Sheriff's husband. It's oh, with uh, husband. what is her name? Jana, Anna. But that was uh, Messner's yep. uh, daughter, right? Billy Joe yep. Messner's daughter, Anna John. He played with her husband. There and there. Okay. Well, he's got a lathe. I'll just have him cut it down. Um, I'll get a hold of Keith and see if he'll just, I know he's, he's got two shafts there on the shelf with this ring work on there. So 
so I'll see if he'll make me one or finish me one again. Well, if you want me to take I'm it with, Iowa, I, then when I'm in Iowa, I'll just trade him. If you do want me to take it with, I've got, I've got an extra spot in my case for a shaft. That's no problem. I got to go see the computer guy here tomorrow at two o'clock. I could stop over there and drop it off too. That's entirely up to you. Yeah, I gotta go play league in Farmington tomorrow, so I think I'll just get a hold of Darren and cut it down. And so you, you're not worried that it's gonna shatter on you or nothing? I'll, I'll have Darren cut it down. He's oh, got a before lead. leagues. Yep. Okay. Okay. Well, you, you know you're gonna avoid your warranty then. I bet. <laughs> JD lives with me. There is no voiding warranty. <laughs> TV Mike is in the house. Uh, nice to have you, TV Mike. We're up here in Burnsville, Minnesota for the uh, MPA Tour event number two. What's that? Feel a little weird on that ball. But... Oh, yeah. Chris is, Chris is actually shooting uh, really good today for somebody that's... I mean, we both actually shot pretty well for only having no sleep. Like no, no, but... Well, what do you do with this shot? If this is your shot, like... If it was mine, I would... Oh, well. I would... Honestly, I would punt the eight ball right up next to that seven ball, I think. i cut it in the side. It does the same, but then same thing scratch? if you miss. Isn't it going to scratch, though? No, you got to hit it so thin. Oh, I see what you're saying. He's going the other way with it. Oh, he's banking it. Look at that. Look at that. What a shot. I guess we were both wrong on that one. Just go for it. Just go for it, yeah. The hell with this. It's, it's, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. Just go for it. Get it done. We ain't got time to mess around here. So uh, Chris is up three to one. This is the hill match now. Or Chris is on the hill. This is just a race to four. Uh, yes, there was only there was a Calcutta just for the Double uh, A Masters. I'll read you the list. I don't have the numbers, but I'll read you the list of the Masters Double A players. Mark Weaver was a five. Brandon Bright was a five. Doug Hornerman was a five. Brandon E. Larson was a five. Brandon Hoff was a five. Larry Sundy was a five. Mark Anderson a five. Craig Jesenowski was a six. Jeff Meese was a five. Nate Reinhardt was a six. Robert Mua was a seven. Dave Wiebelhaus was a five. Robert Schiffenau was a six. Pat Heffron a six. Bernie Levendahl was a five. Jim Powell was a six. Kyle Anderson, five. Matt Pobans, five. Corey Bailey, five. Morgan Hutchins, five. Demetrius Demi Gelatis was an eight. Sean Johnson, a five. Tom Sullivan, five. Tony Hilla, an eight. Ian Barrett, seven. Rick Tonjum, seven. Michael Perrin Jr., the winner of our tournament, was an eight. Al Bruja, a five. And Seco Verani was a six. That was your list. There's only a kill cut up for the double A Masters. Yep. Too bad there wasn't a Calcutta for the C division. I They'd still be doing it. <laughs> well, the, there was only like, there was less players in my division than there was in the double A. Well, maybe there was about the same. So far. Well, yeah. It's not hard to get seventh, eighth out of ten. <laughs> seventh, eighth? Come on. You gotta give me credit here. I got fifth, sixth last week. And now this week I made it to the finals. But then again, that's, uh, that Stacy, uh, whatever her name was, she wasn't here, and she just mowed through the competition in that division. But obviously she would have been in a B this week. Maybe that's why she didn't show up. But she's good enough to play in that B. Do you know who I'm talking about? Yep. <laughs> kind of easy on the eyes. Pretty gal.
right, I'm gonna let you go here for just a second. I go get a refill of uh, Mountain Dew. You want anything? Guys, I just want to let you know, I want to thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, we're at the MPA stop number two at Shooters in Burnsville, Minnesota. I want to do a quick shout out to all the sponsors. Uh, POV Pool, Daniel Bush. POVpool.com is also on Facebook. Uh, pool Tracks, www.pool-tracks.net. Daniel Espinoza. 
Keith Hansen uh, from Keith Q's, www.keithqs, K E I T H K U E S dot com, as well as uh, Tanner Pruis dot com, T A N N E R P R U E S S, or on Facebook, Tanner Pruis Artist. I'd like to thank. Uh, Greg Marsh, uh, John Skogan from JJ Billiards for helping me out get started with this. And I am Midwest Amateur Pool MAP. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm not going to quite sign off, but I'm going to go ahead and tear down the mics, the mixer, and uh, you guys will still have some audio. It's probably going to be pretty low because the jukebox is not blaring, and uh, it's just going to be the camera audio that's going to be picking it up. <clears throat> so I can go ahead and get a start tearing down here so I can get out of here at a decent time. So with that, uh, thank you again. That was a nice shot. I love that, that three, rail, three rail shape. Actually, that was four rails there. Shit, that makes me another guy want to quit. <laughs> That's the only story you got from me. But he tried it. I usually don't feel good at having a I've been actually working on that two rail shape. i following the ball, going two rails instead of doing the draw. It's alright if you eat it. So I thought I'd want to quit. If it was even close to an angle, he has a side of the trail, he's going to be spinning the ball inside, just as well as he does the tree. Uh oh. That's Shootouts the weekend after. Yeah, but you probably yeah. won't come because they'll put you in the double A, won't they? They play, uh, it's just going to be ABC.